watching America Trends, and I think this is my favorite episode of the show ever. Uh, I am Mary Bird Godwin, and I am joined by two very special people, Power San Diego couple, we're going to go ahead and say, Jessica John Girk and her husband Fran Girk. We were talking to you about Helen Woodward Animal Center, and here's our friend Pecan, but we also have Fran, we had you join us. Yes. Because you two started a theater company here in San Diego. Backyard Renaissance Theater Company. How long ago did you guys start it? 2015. Yep. This is our oh, eighth wow. season. Isn't that crazy? That's amazing. I know. I, we can't believe it either. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, so we'll tell <laughs> the viewers at home, because I talk sometimes about my background in theater, but really I'm just a theater geek lover of all things theater. We bonded on, on um, our, we our bond projects. <laughs> I know. So, and I met you, I want to say 21 years ago. Yeah. And I met you about 20, mm -hmm. 20 no, 21, 20, 22 oh, yeah, years ago. Right. Yes. A long time ago. Yes. We're aging ourselves here, yes. but we did a short film together called we Daddy sure G's Good Eatery or something like that. I it was Daddy G's Diner, no? Maybe I, you know better than I don't me. know. I think we have some B-roll. Oh, show good, the audience good. There it is. Yes. There, yeah, there you are, Mary. Yeah. Um, I get proposed to. All yeah. these things happened in the diner. Lots of dancing. Lots of dancing. That's a crazy Where's, diner. We got a, yeah, you know, I think. Uh, oh, yeah, look at Mary. Oh, because I think I got. I think I'm pregnant. And I'm telling him. Oh, you, I'm, you are. Yeah. Oh, there's the guy with that's. Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. Look at there, the outfit. At you, My waitress. Oh. There you oh. are. There she is. Yes. You're the love interest. Yeah. Well. Oh. Hey. Yeah. So that was a million years ago. I think this was up for an Academy Award. I think. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. But I didn't win. We didn't win that year. No. I, we were surprised. No. Surprised. Yeah. yeah it was for really sure. Surprising. And then when I was stage managing, I stage managed a show that you did yes. about 20 years ago, 21, yes, when you first moved here. Right. And you studied acting in New yes. York. Yes. Yes, I did. Uh, at a place called the uh, Actors Studio. The Actors yeah, Studio. James good. Lipton. D yes, exactly. I watched that show religiously. Wow. Were you ever in the audience of the shows? He, yes. You could yes. see him sometimes. Really? Yeah. yeah. Who yeah. was your favorite? Oh. Uh, Do you have a favorite? Um, I, I think. I think. I think the most. <laughs> the most. The most unexpected was probably Al Pacino oh. because he just. Um, like uh, uh, Robert Redford, uh, uh, somebody described it really well. It was like it was like being around the state of Montana. It was just like the, he he was just like he was just who he was, and he was just like you couldn't shake him or flap him. He wasn't there to impress you. He was just I think He's he even just had Al Pacino. A, or, no, Al Pacino was, was different. Robert. Al oh. that Robert Redford. Oh, Robert Redford. And Paul Newman was really nice, but he was like Paul Newman, and he always had glasses on because if he dropped his glasses, everybody was like. Uh. <laughs> You know, I mean, yeah, like, seriously, because who had I mean, the best curse words? Uh, uh, that was probably um, was probably Al Pacino, yeah. only because it was so weird. Like, you, like, like you, you expect a certain thing, and it's not. Right. He's like, he's like, when I say that, he's just like really. He was the first person that was ever. I don't think I can say this word, but it, like he started launching into words Sounds just in. like. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sounds like wussy. Okay. And, it was just, and that just came up in the interview. Yeah. He was just like talking yeah. about a woman's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, and 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 the way that that can you know motivate you in your role. When you're, like, what? you're a student and you're sitting in there going, okay, I've got Al Pacino here. And it's yeah. Fueling your drive to be an actor. Yeah, and confusing the hell out of me. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm not meant to do this. Yeah, this yeah. is not. I am not that. No, and I think that. I think that it's it's um, the, the the neat thing is that is that you know you, many of them are, are so impressive, and then they take they took the time to sort of at least eat a cookie with you. There was like this oh, always this, there was like a tray of That's cookies, cool. and then you, you, there was this reception, and you were like reaching for a cookie at the same time. <laughs> With you know, yeah. So then you moved to San Diego, yeah. and you two ended up meeting, and then you, a few years later, fast forward to starting your own theater company. Yes. What kind of drove you to do that? I think that it was... Um, well, Franny had started a theater company when he first got here, right. which was uh, New Village Art. Oh, right. yes, I remember that. Yeah. Yep. And then yeah. things changed, and and then, uh, I don't know, both of us, we'd been in a, worked with a lot of wonderful theaters, Signet, mm -hmm. Lambs, mm -hmm. um, beautiful theaters, and I think... We loved all of them, but we felt like we wanted kind of a place that felt like home to us, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and that just seemed like a nice thing to do. Yeah, and I think I think well, I think one of the things the, the conversation that I remember, <laughs> which is always always dangerous. We're married. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> business partners <laughs> and wife partners, yeah, yeah. so it can uh, get a little muddy. But yeah. but I, th I think that there was a little bit of it's not that things got miserable by any stretch of the imagination, but there was sort of a, a, a gray tone to everything, and there was a, a sort of a lack of joy. And that is, and so that we thought, how can we kind of try to recapture our interest and passion in what we were doing? Yeah. And the idea was, well, let's see if we can contribute 
to the community at large. With what, do it yourself. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, with the help of a whole bunch of people. I bet that was probably pretty fun is developing that network. Yeah. And the uh, our logo is is a dog. Right. Yeah. Because one of the things that we just at the time I was working at Helen Woodward and one of the things that we noticed with dogs is that they see joy and they find newness in every yeah. single person mm -hmm. they meet, every project they take on, every toy they get. Yeah. And we're like, let's, you know, let's remember that that's what we get to do every day. And yeah. so it's been it's been really a wonderful experience with all the different artists and people we've met along the way. And yeah. so you have your 8th season coming up and we you do. just finished you wrote a show. I October did. night. The October night of Johnny Zero. Johnny Zero. Yeah. Okay, well, that was your, your last show. And you guys are right. up for some awards coming up here. We are. We, uh, I think um, we're up. Well, your performance. Best uh, actress. San Diego. You need to make up for the not winning for the daddy. Jesus. Exactly. I'm gonna, and I'm going to do it for you. Here. When I'm on stage, Mary, I'm going to say, I dedicate this to yes. Mary. Okay, yeah. <laughs> to our old days. Yeah, I should come and be in the audience and yeah. scream for you like Jamie Lee Curtis did for Michelle Yeoh. Exactly. Yeah. So tell me then, and what else? Is, for the best show? Mm. Um, I don't. I, I'll, it's up for best set, best lighting, best um, best performance, and then we've got another set, another. I'm up for costumes yeah. for one of our oh, other cool. shows. Um, but it's really a beautiful thing that they do. It's a San Diego Critics Circle. It's been around for about 40 years. We're up against all sorts of organizations, wonderful theaters like the Old Globe and La Jolla Playhouse. Wow, that's so, so all. So, it's not just the smaller. It's all no. of them. So it's yeah. a really and and regional shows and shows that travel here. So. So it's That's really cool. lovely to be nominated and, and a big honor. So. so do you have, can you name pinpoint one kind of challenge that you face in the theater world, especially here in San Diego? Audiences? That up. <laughs> yeah, audiences, audiences, right? Yeah. Yes. Because there's so many things to do outside. Yep. Sunny and beautiful. Who wants to go sit in a dark theater besides people like me? Well, look what happened to the Chargers. Right. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, you can't like... even keep the football team. <laughs> right. You can't keep well, the football team. Or and, and a basketball team. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I know. Did I say that out loud? I know. I know. Sorry. I know. <laughs> Mary Burko. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 I do love my chargers, though. <laughs> yeah, um, but it is an interesting thing because it's very hard to get the word out, and you're right. Depending on the weather, people will decide to go out, or if it's raining, they decide not to go out. We went to a show the other night, and there was a nice big crowd uh, planned, but when we got there, people were like, I'm staying home and watching yeah, Netflix. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, so where can we find you? Backyardrenaissance.com. 